we have Deb Opry live from Los Angeles with the very latest on what's going on in Tinseltown with Lindsay Lohan. A court date today, uh, lots of developments and also accusations in this case with Lindsay wanted an apology that apparently she doesn't have a, a cocaine addiction problem. She uh, was, I guess, misdiagnosed as having attention deficit disorder and had problems with her Adderall. Well, I've heard it all. So uh, give us your take <laughs> on all of this and whether or not she's going to get an apology from the court. <laughs> well, well, that, that's, that's not going to happen. Yeah. But uh, I was a little surprised at uh, Judge Eldon Fox's ruling today. I really thought, uh, based upon the uh, doctor's recommendations, that she was going to be on her way to New York quickly. But he's delayed it, and in retrospect, I think that was good. He's giving her supervised probation. He's mm -hmm. shortening it from August 11 to down to November, which would have been the end of her rehabilitation in the inpatient program. And he's basically saying, you can get back to work, you can get on with your life. However, you've got to go to counseling, you've got to have random drug testing at least twice a week, and you're going to be on strict supervised probation. You make one mistake, you're going back for a 30-day stay in jail. So he is loosening the reins but he's keeping his grip tight and the most the most interesting thing was you can't leave Los Angeles until November so that was the most surprising thing to me Kimberly okay so she has a screening of her latest film project machete not mm -hmm. sure what's going on with that film not uh, going she, she's not, not going. attending not attending no. but the ruling from the judge from Judge Fox who again is now on the case because Judge Marsha Ravel uh, she recused herself from the case is that correct Yes, that's correct. There seemed to be a possibility that she might have had an ex parte communication. We're not sure. But uh, if she did not alert the attorneys and parties to any conversation she might have had with doctors, that might have been interpreted to be improper conduct. Right. And I think she was smart to recuse herself. Yeah, just step away from it. In fact, the, uh, the prosecutors in this case did not oppose any of the conditions that Judge Fox imposed. That's correct. That's correct. Were you surprised um, by that? Uh, I'm not surprised by that because I think she's basically been on a good behavior. She has shown the court and the doctors and the prosecutors basically I am following the rules. I am not challenging the system. I want to get out of the system. And Judge Fox, I, I just think it was very good on his part to say, look, I'm going to release you and you're going to get out of this system a lot faster, but you've got to play by the rules. And I think if she does play by the rules, and I think she's going to, and get back to work, I think it's going to be a good thing. I was just very surprised that she is being kept in L.A. I did not see that one coming. I guess it makes sense that he wants her, you know, in the state versus across the country. I'm just wondering how yes. long he's going to impose this specific till uh, November. condition. Oh, just till November, assuming she does Until well. November. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. If she makes one slip up, it's over with. And he's given her an incentive by dropping two of the drug counts that she pled out to earlier mm -hmm. from 2007. But I think if she does go to the counseling classes a couple of times a week, she does do the random drug testing and alcohol testing and stays clean. She is working and she stays out of that crowd. I think she's going to be okay. And here's the thing. If she is really doing well, he can revisit this supervised uh, probation and maybe mm -hmm. loosen the right. reins even a little bit more in a month or so. All right, Deb Opry, thank you. And we want to direct people to your website, celebrity uh, famed attorney in Los Angeles, <laughs> DebraOprey.com. Thanks for coming on and being a, a source of information and analysis on all things Hollywood legal. Because <laughs> there's a lot of problems <laughs> over there in Hollywood. You. Yeah.